April is Jazz Appreciation Month, and what better way to ease out of the bitter cold of winter than the sultry sounds of jazz? Yeah, Jazz Live is taking over the Pittsburgh's Cultural Trust Greer Cabaret Theater. This series is more than just a concert. It's a multimedia presentation. Yeah, it really is. And today we are joined by two of the talents who are making it all happen, Terry Bell and Thomas Wendt. So, Terry, first off, thank you both for being here. Yeah, and Terry, let's get started with uh, talking about just the importance of jazz in Pittsburgh. There's such a rich history here and you guys just want to celebrate it. Uh, and April is the appropriate time to do that with Jazz Appreciation Month. Pittsburgh has such a rich, long legacy and uh, jazz jazz history. Uh, so many notable jazz artists from Pittsburgh. Uh, right. Roger Humphreys, Mary Lou Williams, <laughs> Stanley Turntini, you met yeah. him, yes. Um, Art Blakey, I could go on and on and on. George Benson. So, yes, George Good Benson, job. yes. We could go on all day because Pittsburgh has made such a contribution to the music. And so Pittsburgh is important to jazz and jazz is important to Pittsburgh. And to this day, it's one of the few cities that you can hear live jazz seven days a week. That's right. And so what can people expect with this series? Well, it's the BMI Mellon Presents Jazz Live series. Mm -hmm. The Pittsburgh Cultural Trust has been presenting this for the last 18 years, showcasing hundreds of regional uh, musicians. We have such a, a, a talent roster to choose from. So every Tuesday in the Cultural District, uh, you can hear live jazz. And for Jazz Appreciation Month, we're doing some very special presentations where we have Thomas went is one of them. Uh, Hugo Cruz has presented a, a special presentation and Thomas will talk a little bit about that. But it all culminates at the end of the month where we are presenting our Jazz Live Legacy Award. And we've done this now for the last three years. This is our fourth year. The previous honorees were Roger Humphreys, Joe mm -hmm. Negri, and um, Dr. Harry Clark, who was the founder, uh, founding principal of Kappa. So it's our opportunity to acknowledge someone who has made significant contributions to jazz in Pittsburgh and in the region. And uh, we will be doing it at the Christian Sands Quartet Concert. And Christian Sands is a national uh, artist. He's a okay. pianist. He is a wonderful, he's 32 years old, just a talented uh, musician. So you don't want to miss it, that's for sure. All right, so Thomas, tell us about the presentation that you're involved in, because, I mean, there is a lot to cover as far as the history of jazz and Pittsburgh's <laughs> connection to it. So tell us what people can expect. Well, on the 19th, we're going to be focusing on two really important musicians in the history of the music, uh, the great pianist Teddy Wilson and the great guitarist Charlie Christian. And I sort of chose these two gentlemen because they're incredibly important to the music, but they're also very, very important to American history. Teddy Wilson was really the first black American to be hired by a white band leader, Benny Goodman, in 1936. So sort of breaking the color barrier in the music, which was really, that was 11 years before Jackie Robinson joined the Brooklyn Dodgers, which, you know, this is something that we're not really taught in schools and we really should be taught, you know, because he was an incredibly important musician, as was Charlie Christian. Um, and so they're, they're important to the music as well as American history. So we're going to be focusing on those two, those two artists. Yeah, Pittsburgh has such a steep history in jazz that a lot of people really aren't aware of. That's right. Mm -hmm. there's, there's so many great artists that are from here. And this was a city that was a, a destination city in the Great Migration. So that's one of the reasons that uh, it was such a, a fertile ground for the development uh, of the music. And, and so there's going to be something every Tuesday. Is every that the Tuesday. deal? Okay. Yes, and it's actually every Tuesday of the year we have a presentation of jazz. It's free and open to the public, but um, in particular for Jazz Appreciation Month, we have these very special presentations. So we had Thomas Wendt open up, mm -hmm. uh, then Hugo Cruz, and Thomas Wendt is doing the presentation he just spoke of uh, this coming Tuesday. We have a free presentation of Dr. Alton Merrill Quint, uh, Quartet, and then the ticketed uh, concert, and you can get tickets on trustarts.org for the Christian Sands Quartet concert uh, on April 26th. All right, well, it all sounds great, and we appreciate you so much for coming in and telling us about it. Yeah, thanks, Thank guys. you so much for having us. Yeah. And remember, the jazz series continues next Tuesday, April 19th, with Thomas Wentz jazz presentation, and then the following Tuesday, even more jazz happenings. All right, for more information about how Jazz Appreciation Month is being celebrated in Pittsburgh's Cultural District, go to PittsburghTodayLive.com. We've got all the info you'll need right there. And we have a Tuesday date, David. We can I think so. Yeah, every Tuesday, yeah. in fact. <laughs>